Hello, hello, hello. I don't know what's going on with this random crinkle in here. Swipe left to real. Okay. All right, hello guys. So, I've already prepped my skin off camera, taking my nose ring out, all of that jazz. Um, <coughs> today, let me see if I can find it. We're going to be reviewing this, the um, Super Stay. I know it looks really white compared to my skin. Holy hell. Um, the Maybelline Super Stay, up to 24 hour wear, all that good stuff. Um, and then I also got a new eyebrow product. We got a couple different things that um, I'm going to be trying out. Hold on, let me move you so I can get this out of there. Okay, cool. Um, when you jump on, say hello. Let's see if I can get this position right. So, like I said, we've got the foundation that we're going to try. Um, and then I got this NYX Tame and Frame Tinted Brow Pomade. Um, one of my coworkers uses this, and I said um, I'm going to try it as well. So, I've been looking for a... Um, like, I've never really been, like, a full coverage queen. Let's see here. So, I've always just used my um, MAC Match Master. It's, like, a medium coverage. Um, but you can build it up. But um, I've been wanting to try, like, a full coverage foundation because, I mean, why not? I mean, I don't. It sounds like I'm being, like, I don't need it. But, hey, girl, what's up, Kim? Um, so, I've never really ventured out into that so we're gonna try it um and then i also got some um lashes in the mail i got the priya lashes so i mean i already had them but i cut them too short so they looked a little ridiculous like you could see the gapping in between here so i just got another pair so like i said i've already prepped my skin um off camera um with uh, hydrating my skin with the Clinique dramatically different um, moisturizer. I really like that stuff. Um, I just cleaned my face with some face wipes and yeah. Um, so I've got like a little friend here, a little bit of redness here, obviously some vein veinage going on here. Um, sometimes in between here I get a little red. So we'll see how this uh, foundation um covers so it claims to be full coverage um i got the shade fair porcelain 102 um i heard that it does oxidize a bit so that's why i got this really like light shade because if it oxidizes a shade or two it'll be close to my my skin um plus it was the stuff is like really really hard to get so um when I found it, there was the shade and then like the deep shades. And I was like, oh, are you serious? So we're gonna try this. Um, I'm going to be using, I'm gonna do all my skincare, I mean all my skin stuff exactly the same how I would with like my other foundation. Um, so I'm going to prime with this No Problem Primer. Um, it's a smooth and pore covering top secret perfect makeup complexion primer. So I just grab a little dab of that, put it all over. It's a pore one, so I usually apply it first when so my pores are a little bit more crazy. So like in here, on my nose, within there. Sorry guys, I got a phone call. Um, and then I just work the rest out. This doesn't get like super sticky like other primers. I mean it does, but nothing crazy. Oh God! I do this every time. I did get my beauty blender wet. Let me go get that wet really quick. All right, so, sorry about that, I'm back. Um, I always forget to get this stupid thing wet. Um, I know you guys have probably seen that uh, sharp, that sharp, God, why do I say that, tart shape tape that's out. Um, 
other reviews I've watched, I think it's nice, but then again, everybody gets upset because there's not a lot of shade range, which, I mean, it does suck. Like, they don't have really, really light, and then they don't have really, really deep, so, and then, like, everything's all over the place. Um, so it comes in a packaging like this, and it's got, like, a pump. Hey, Katie, I see you hopping on. Look what I'm trying. All right, so I'm just going to put a pump on the back of my hand, because since it's full coverage, I'm not sure, like, what it's going to be like. It's going to look ridiculous on my face right now, because it looks so light. But, um, I'm trying it because, like I said, it, I heard it oxidizes a bit. Um, so, I'm going to, I got a little bit lighter. See, I feel like those things don't get my sponge wet enough for me. Okay, this is pretty full coverage. Um, I got Fair Porcelain 102. Um, I heard... It oxidizes, so I know I'm probably absolutely nuts, so right now. But after I sit with my powder and everything, I think that we'll be okay. I don't um see it picking up like on my dry spots, but then again, I did just moisturize um if you guys want me to do like a wear test like um throughout the day like i can go live later if it's slow at work um and update you guys on how it's doing so that was one pump and that went all over my face holy cow i mean it's full coverage but at the same time like you could still see my Yeah, the coverage, I mean, the coverage, like, see, there's my little guy right there, my little friend. Um, I mean, it does look really light, but it doesn't look bad. Like, I mean, up close, it looks ridiculous. But that one pump got all of this. All, like, everything from here down is, like, one pump and a little bit up here. So I'm going to get a little bit more on my sponge and then just apply it on the forehead. Um... I don't have any brow product on or anything like that, um, because I'm trying a new product. I did tint my eyebrows though at work, and I will say I am so happy that I did it because it, um, now that like, so my hair is all natural, like I don't have, um, it's the Maybelline Superstay Foundation, mom. My little friend. Yeah, that's my little friend right there. So the coverage, see, <laughs> I'm so nervous that, like, I'm really, really going to like the coverage that this is giving me. And then, or, like, you know, make my face look flawless. Yeah, the shade is really rel relaxing a little bit. I think it's oxidizing and it's looking pretty good. Um, plus, I have two lights right here, so. But they're daylights, so it's, I mean, it's not going to change it up too much. So I put it on my eyelids too because I will probably use that to like prime or whatever. Um, but it doesn't look bad. I mean like I feel like it could be a little bit more like here. It dries down matte. It looks good though. I'm liking this. Um, I did want to try this too because I wanted to try the, um, the Huda Beauty foundation. Um, thanks, thank you, Grammy. Um, I heard the Huda Beauty Foundation, which is $40, that is like super full coverage, that this is like a dupe for that. And this was like $11, so I really wanted to try it before I bought that. All right, so this is my MAC Studio Fix powder. I'm just gonna set it with that. It doesn't. The two brands are like mixing well. It doesn't look like super cakey or anything like that. I mean, to me, matte foundations can look cakey anyway just because they're matte. But this is like literally just like the color of my skin. I don't know if you guys can see. Picked up on my dryness a little bit right there. I know, it doesn't feel heavy on the skin, um, or anything like that either. I'm 
blanking it. All right. It looks good. Her eyebrow tint is awesome. Thanks. I, I love it. Um, we do it where I work. Um, it comes free with a color service. So I just, I mean, obviously we were slow at work and I was just like, I'm going to tint my eyebrows because my eyebrows are always so light. Um, and I like this. It looks really nice. I feel like I can walk out in public with like no eyebrow makeup on and still have eyebrows. Does that make sense? My eyebrows have always been like super light for some reason. And my hair is natural. Like I don't have any color in it. So it's not like my eyebrows are really, um, like they're just, they don't match my, un my colored hair, you know? All right. So this is the, um, next tame and frame brow pomade. I'm going to try this. I mean, I, I feel like the shade of foundation has definitely oxidized a little bit and it is now the color of my, my face. I do have some dry patches around my nose ring. You guys could probably see that where it like picked up a little bit, but that's not the foundation's fault. I don't think. Yes. The choker queen lives. Um, I think it's, it's my skin. Like I just need better skincare. I think I need to exfoliate. I'll try that and then wear this tomorrow. All right. So this is an essence, um, eyeliner brush, but it's really tiny. So I'm going to try it with my eyebrow stuff and I'm gonna bring my mirror a little bit closer so I could still stay in the frame with you guys I normally use um, I normally use the eyeshadow my co-worker has this and she was like you should try it so I'm gonna try it obviously I'm going slower than I would with the eyeshadow because this is a, a brow pomade, obviously. So I don't want to make it look ridiculous. Sometimes you can go a little heavy handed with this. What, oh my God, what China? I want to know what you're liking. So I went underneath the eyebrow first and like carved out my shape under here. Um, and now I go, I went over the top and now I know it's working great. Um, and then I'm filling it in. I'm, I like the shade of it. It looks pretty natural. Like with my, with my eyebrows, I mean my hair. And this is only like $6, which Nyx is, um, Sometimes a little bit more on the expensive side for drugstore. It looks, yeah, I, I like this. I have this weird, there we go, that works better. And my friend said this stuff lasted her forever. Can you see how much is in there? Yeah, this is the shade, what shade is this? Chocolate, this is what chocolate. Um. I was gonna buy the brunette one, but when I opened it, the shade, it looked so ashy. Can you see this? It actually is brown. I might go back, like, I might look back at myself later and be like, damn, Emily, that was a little bit heavy on the eyebrow pomade, but this is the first time I'm using it, so. I like, I'm I'm not sure if I like it with this little brush or not. Um, this is a different brush than what I used to apply the brow powder. This isn't a synthetic brush. The other one was a natural hair brush, so maybe I'll try it again with the natural hair and see if I like it, like, more, I guess. <laughs> Thank you. Remember, brows are sisters, or wait, what was it? Sisters, not twins. That's what it is. Sisters, not twins. So I'm going to try it too with another brush and see like if it, if I like it even better that way. So I'm going to just take my spoolie and just like comb through 
my brows and make sure that they're all good. I don't really um, apply brow product to like the center, I guess, like this part. Um, I just kind of do underneath so it stays natural looking. Alrighty, where is it? I'm going to, oh, that looks so good, I like that. I'm going to um, put eyebrow gel. It's the Benefit Gimme Brow, but apparently they don't have this on the shelves right now. Um, they said they took it off and I heard something about like it was irritating people's eyes or something. But um, I mean, it doesn't irritate mine. But a dupe for it is the Essence Make Me Brow. Give me brow, make me brow. These are a dupe for each other. Um, <coughs> this is shade three, and then this is brownie brows. Yeah, they recalled it because it was like burning people's eyes or something. All right, so, so far, I am happy with the foundation. And then I am also happy with the, um, the eyebrow product. Well, it's not a mascara, duh, that's dumb. All right, so I'm gonna do a little bit of eye makeup. Um, I already put some foundation on my eyelids, but I feel like it's kind of going away, I guess, just from me blinking. I didn't set that part, so um, this is a Morphe M224. It's just like a flat, one, flat brush, and then this is my MAC Painterly Paint Pot. I really appreciate you guys watching my live videos. Um, I was gonna just do like YouTube videos, but then like, it sounds so lazy, but I really, I don't feel like editing. And I feel like being live is like way more real. That's dumb. I feel like going live is like way more real. Like I can actually like, like you guys will be able to tell if I really like something or if I don't like something or if I'm lying or whatever like how they say all these youtubers lie about everything so um like I feel like this is just way like way more real I guess the by benefit all right so this is my Kat Von D shade in light I'm gonna take the light shade well up here let me back this up a little bit. I don't need it all up in my face now. And then I'm just gonna set that paint pot with that. Some people use eyeshadow primer, which works too, but I feel like it kind of gets too sticky and then like it's hard for you to blend. Like your brush is like, eh, eh, eh. I don't know like that. Well, I mean, you can always make it darker, like keep going over it and stuff. So, I mean, all right, so this is a, um, a Morphe M502. I'm just gonna deep go into this like light brown shade right here and just like put that all up in my crease area. Um, it's like super light, so you don't have to be like super precise with it. When you guys jump on, say hello, cause I wanna know who's watching. and. Say thank you. Plus, I like when people talk to me. I try to have my lives not be so dang long. See, like it's been 20 minutes and I've already done like my whole face. I'm just working my eyes. That's it. All right, so this is a Morphe M505. I'm gonna go into a little bit darker of a brown. Tap off a little bit. Hey, Sky. <laughs> and then I'm going to just work that in. You don't have to, I go really slow, like, not slow, but like light touches. Oh, I must've had black on this or something because it's a little bit darker than I wanted but it's okay I mean we work with it it's 
sometimes when you're blending you want it to like your brush to like barely touch the skin mm -mm. I'm gonna go back with that brush that I just used to do the lighter transition color kind of blur those together when I use my brushes I have like my brushes right here and then when I use a brush I put it down right here so that's how I remember which one well I'm working That's funny. I, um, what's it say? Uh, yeah, girl, I love doing lives because I feel like it's just more real. Like I can, I can talk to people. If people ask me questions, like I can answer questions. Um, I really like that. So let's just stick it with the mats today. I think I don't want to do anything super crazy cause I'm going to do some bold lashes, girl, some bold lashes. Um, my brush okay here it is all right so this is a, um, a morphe 433 m433 this is really really popular brush all the all the youtubers use it um i like it because it's like flat and then so the way i do it i learned this tip from jacqueline hill so if you take the brush and you apply the product on one side of the brush tap it off a little bit one side and then you flip it to where the product is like on the top and then you apply it in the crease area. It only goes on the top part of that crease. It doesn't like end up making it go downward onto your lid, which is such a good, good little tip. I use it all the time. It's like you're upside down applying makeup. So it is a little weird at first, but this is just like a little bit warmer of a brown just to add a little bit of a redness in there it's this one right here so now I'm gonna take that instead of applying it upside down on the lid on the top I'm gonna apply it on the bottom like on the bottom portion of the eyelid I just feel like it gets a really nice application when you do it that way I'm gonna go back with one of my fluffy brushes that I used and then just blend it together seamlessly. Just like that. Now I'll put a little bit of shimmer um, on like my lid. This is the Modern Renaissance palette. They have, um, by Anastasia, there's a, sh a shade called Vermeer um, and they're a little tiny brush, and I'll just like apply this on the lid right here, so it just gives a tiny bit of like a little bit of shimmer going on there. All right, so before I put on like liner and all that stuff, um, I'm gonna put. I don't see my brush. All right, we'll just use this one. I'm gonna put a little bit of those shades that I use on my eye, on the lower portion of um, my eyeball. This is a little teeny tiny pencil brush from Morphe. This is a E36. Take that like medium brown shade. I'm gonna apply it down here. I used to not do this, but ever since I started doing it, I love it. I had to do it on like all my makeup looks. Am I the only person that doesn't really use Instagram super like nor like random post uh random thing? I don't really use it. So some people were asking me like to do lives on Instagram and I'm like, but I don't use Instagram. Do you guys like it that I go live on here, or would you rather me go live on, like, Instagram or something like that? All right, so I'm going to use the Hula Bronzer to bronze up the skin a little bit. I bought the little one, so it's really annoying to get it in there. Oh, 
prefer lives on Facebook. Okay. I don't like contour or anything like that. I just apply bronzer on the outer skirts of like my face since I've used like a lighter, you know, when you use foundation and stuff. Um, and then I like push it into the hairline too as well. So you don't have that like a, like, you know, the whiteness or whatever. And then I typically just leave it like that. I don't even really do anything fancy. All right, let's see here. What do I, I want some chapstick. My lips are feeling a little chapped. Mm, gross. Hopefully Austin doesn't walk in and, and come home from work in the middle of my life. Oh, by the way, how do you don't talk? Talking. All right, so I'm going to do lashes, but I'm going to do my, my liner first. And this is the Steel Estate All Day. This stuff is the best, and a lot of you guys ask me how I do my wings, so I'll show you. I literally, instead of like holding it like this and doing it, I just hold it like this. And... I almost like stamp drag. <gasps> oh my god, no! Ah! I'm so mad right now. It's okay. Oh my God, I can't believe I did that. Pull it down and then I go across the top. Like that. And then I like connect it. Within there, let me bring this thing a little closer. I don't pull my eye. Like some people pull their eye out like this through the wing. I just hold it still. So when I'm taking the marker across, it doesn't like pull my lid, I guess. And get it all like wonky looking. All right, I can't believe I did that on my nose. I want to use like... That's so annoying. <sighs> now it's taking off my nose makeup a little bit. It's alright. I'll just have to pay attention later when I'm doing like the lives that this came off a little bit. God, that's so annoying. All right, so I'm gonna do some lashes. So I'm gonna apply a little bit of mascara. This is um, a Mary Kay mascara. Uh, oh, it's the Mary Kay Ultimate Mascara. I don't like it. But I don't really like mascara in general. Um, I mean, I found some that are really good, like the Better Than Sex. That is a very good mascara. Um, what else? The Falsies Flared, or Falsies, the whole Falsies line is amazing. I have pretty long eyelashes, they just don't, they don't curl up. See, like, you can't even see them. What the heck? What the heck? Alright, so, I'm gonna take my beauty blender and, like, round out my eye so I can put a little bit of liner on. This is the um Urban Decay um what is this? 24-7 glide on. This stuff's amazing and it doesn't move. Like it goes on so smoothly but it doesn't move. It's great. I love it.
lash on the bottom. All right, so we're gonna do the Priya lashes today. Now, the last time I got these bad boys, I cut them really, really, really short. Let me take this off. Like, really too short on the sides. So, I'm going to attempt to not do that today. What time is it? Does anybody know what time it is? Let's see. 2.06. Okay, we're good. Uh, so, applying lashes, you'll need your lash applicator. Lash glue. Um lashes of course but I need my little tiny scissors because I have to trim them today um I'm really like extra so I'll use two um let's see here two different types of tweezers and then I use a spa mirror as well so so when you have your lashes they come in like this this side goes here this side goes there Some lashes, it doesn't matter which side you put them on because they're the same. I think the Priyas don't matter. Yeah, I don't think that these ones matter. All right, so they come with these extra, do you see this like little extra piece on the bottom? On the sides, these little pieces. Those are so you can grab them out of the tray when you first get them because they're like stuck to the tray. Um, but I cut those off. Just a teeny bit. There we go. Get it off. All right, so I need to trim them. These ones are pretty stinking long. Let's see it. Oh, those are so pretty. Actually, do I want to trim them at all? I'm gonna do. I'm gonna wear them without trimming them today because. Um. Let me see how that goes. Sometimes I've noticed that I really like some lashes better if I don't if I don't trim them. Um, I'm gonna wrap it around this eyeliner to get it to curl a little bit. That's a trick, so it's a little bit easier to apply. You just hold it for a second. Whoa! Of course, I'm wearing black. All right, so. I curled it. I'm gonna grab it. See the see how like 3D they are? That was really close. So it's like really hard to it's kind of difficult to grab sometimes. Alright. The eyelash. Glue. Try for a second. All right, I'm just gonna apply them. So now that I've applied it with that, I usually take another pair of tweezers and like adjust them. Oh my god, you guys, I watched The Lovely Bones today. I don't know why I do that to myself. Holy cow, these are so fluffy and long. And I love it. <laughs> they are a little bit long and I don't want to mess them up again. Oh, 
so fluffy. I love it. Alright, so let me get this other eyelash off. Oh, I dropped my glue. Alright, I'm going to trim those little tiny pieces off the edges that you pull on the lash with. Curl this one up a little bit. That looks so crazy looking. It's like a spider. Like a little umbrella or something. Alrighty. See how it got all curly like that? It's wonderful. All right, gonna apply the glue. Let it dry a little bit. For you guys watching, these are the Priya lashes. Holy cow. I don't understand how people can apply these things with their fingers. Like I've watched people do it where they just apply the whole eyelash with their fingers and I'm like, what? Just pinch my natural eyelashes and the band together. They're so fluffy, oh my heavens. Look at how, like, oh my god, I love them. I don't even feel them, which is the weirdest thing. All right, let's put a little bit of um, a little bit of highlight on today. This is the Morphe like little magnet. Whoa, like magnet palette thing. I'm gonna use this is Mary Luminizer, but I took it out of the pan. So it magnets in here, so. Whoa! Holy hell. Whoa, I don't normally put that much on. So if you put a little extra on, just uh, go over it with like your powder brush that you use. Maybe if I put a highlight on the tip of my nose, it'll like make it not obvious that I uh, took my foundation off. All right, I'm gonna go in with a little tiny brush. I don't see it in there. Here we go, I'll use this one. Um, This is a unique brush. Um, and I grabbed a little bit of a highlight on here. I'm gonna put it underneath my eyebrow bone so I can make that pop a little bit. that. Wow, these eyelashes are huge, but I like them. Yeah, they're touching my eyebrows right there. That's crazy. All right, guys. Well, I am going to head out and go to work. Um, I'm going to set my makeup with this Urban Decay setting spray. I've never really tried it. It's the all-nighter one. Like, I mean, I've tried it, but I didn't really like it. 
So if this is supposed to be 24 hours foundation, I'm gonna set it. Woo! Set it with that. Um, and then I'll check in throughout the day to see how how it looks. Just gonna tap in that setting pot that setting spray with this beauty blender. Mm. Maybe I'll put a lip, lip product on first. Wow. I had some foundation on my lips, guys. are a little dry I guess holy cow my natural lip looks so pink heavens to Betsy it even looks pretty like that I don't even want to put a color on it these are three new colors that I got guys oh they have a mirror on that side I got them from work um let's do this one um, we were selling liquid lipsticks at my salon, and I was like, hmm, it's pretty cool. They have a light on them, so when you apply them, whoa, you can, like, really see what you're doing. And then there's a mirror as well, which is pretty cool if you're, like, on the go or something, but. Mm, let's do the bottom first. Wow. Pretty color. Like it. It kind of smells like spray paint. But then the other one that I have from work smells like um, chocolate. Alright, you guys, so this is by Pure Cosmetics. The shade is Miss Independent. So it's totally different. I don't think I've ever worn a color like this. Butthole, the butthole lip is not that bad. It's a little sticky. But it's not like transferring from like lip to lip like my other lips are not pulling it off I don't know if it's completely dry yet but I got a little tiny bit on my hand but I like this color oh I'm gonna take this to work with me all right guys well I'm going to head off I am gonna go to work so if you guys have any questions let me know um I'm going to check in like midday with you guys and check out the the foundation see how it's working out so all right i will see you guys later and bye